Hello everybody, welcome back to the Benifab Coding Club. Last week we did a game where we were able to sh uh, shoot projectile from my spaceship. So I deleted the drug because today I want to focus on how can I make the robot shoot back at me. So you see, I slow them down a little bit and I make them appear a little bit faster. And the challenge today would be to make them shoot back at me. First, in order to solve this challenge, let's go and see how we did the shooting for the rocket ship. So we create a clone of projectile. If uh, we press K space and the timer uh, is over the fire rate. So, so we, we don't shoot all the time. Now for the robot, we cannot do the same thing because here in the projectile says, go to rocket ship point in the same direction as my rocket ship and then move on the problem is that if we do that with clones they will go to the first one the robot here that is at let's say zero zero the enemy projectile will go here so what we'll need to do is find a way to remember all the direction and position of all the clone that want to shoot and then shoot with a projectile. So first thing first, let's go and create a new projectile. So let's go with something simple, a little red line like that. And I will just change it a little bit smaller, something like that and a lot shorter. Let's zoom a little bit. There you go. And let's make it a gradation between orange and black like that but the other way around so that way we feel a little bit like a laser and let's do go and use this tool here to create another point to make it a little bit rounder like that and if I expand the little arm like that I can make it rounder so I've created a nice little laser and now Let's make my robot shoot the laser. In order to do that, as I said, I want each clone to register its position, X, Y, where it is, and in which direction it's looking, and then shoot. What I will do is simply create a new block called shoot, run it without screen refresh to make it fast, and let's say that shooting is simply and the way we will remember who shoot where in which direction will be with list so each clone will register its position and direction on the list when you want to shoot and then the projectile will go check on the list if it needs to go and shoot so let's call this one x let's call it y and let's call it direction for direction. It's basically shooting simply mean for the robot to add three things to those three lists. So X, Y, and direction. And we can go in motion and we have the three value here. So the three variable, we can access their value. So we'll put the position of the clone and those will get us the position of the clone if we do it inside the clone here. So what we'll do, we'll just make the clone shoot every so often. And that should be it. And of course, we want to clear those three lists, delete all from the tree. There we go from X, Y, and there. So now every time a clone shoot, you should see data here. And let's hide my player for now. And of course we need to make it shoot. So for now, let's do something real simple. When I start as a clone, repeat forever, wait one second, and then shoot. So we should be able to shoot every second or so. 
Let's go and start that. One, two, three. And we have the direction there. Perfect. So now that we created a queue, if you want, of places and direction we need to shoot, this line here should be able to do exactly that. So what we want to do is basically create clone until the list is empty. And for each clone that is created, go to there and then remove it from the list. So we'll create a block call in it for initialization and run it without refresh. And when I start as a clone, we'll go to a specific place and point in a specific direction. The first uh, position X, Y, and there in the list, number one, is the oldest. So it's the first that was put there. And the last, number 32, because we have 32, is the most recent. So what we want to do is to go and take the first one. So we'll go here and in the list we want the item one for the X, one for the Y, and finally one for the direction. So now that we went there, what we need to do is simply delete the first one in my list. So X, Y, and there. Now, when do we create clone? We create clone if the list is uh, has something in it. So if the length of the list is not zero, we want to basically create clone until there's uh, the, the list is empty. So what we'll do, we'll create a new block that will also run without refresh call create clones. And the, the, the reason I want to do a special block is to create a bunch of clone at the same time without a refresh. And when they start, they each go and do the first one and remove it until the list is empty. So when we create clone, we want to check if the length of the list is not zero. So here in the length of, and they will always be the same. All three will be the same. So I just need to check one is not zero. So if it's not zero, what do we want to do? Let's go and create as much clone as there is element in my list. We saw something happen here. So basically there's a bunch of clone at different places and direction that were created. So now when do we want to create clone? So we basically want to create clone forever. As long as my game run, I want to create clone of this if there is something to create here. So let's see the result here. If we start the game, we should see. There we go. They shoot laser, the laser that don't move, but they shoot laser in the right direction every second and we go and see the laser there. So that's pretty good. Now we want the laser to move until it touch my, the uh, edge or uh, my player. And we want it to do a bunch of stuff also. So when I start as a clone, we start and we move until, let's move at two, until my until 
I either touch the rocket ship or the edge. And then I will delete myself. There we go. And I will delete myself. Now we can also make it show. And we will hide the first one so we won't see this one anymore. So oop. we have a little bug there. Okay. So we have our robot that are effectively shooting laser and the laser disappear when we are here. Nice. So now just to do a little bit more challenge, the robot will not only shoot, but it will also always point toward the rocket ship and the rocket ship will do a really, really easy control. So basically uh, we will do go to uh, point or mouse pointer and we'll simply do move a little bit. But we'll move after we turn. So we'll move in the right direction. So move, let's say three. So we should have I will show it. We should have a spaceship that move and point toward my mouse, but it, it's doing it sideways. We will simply move before we turn. So that was my mistake. Before we turn, we move and then we turn for the animation. So now we have a spaceship that is moving and we have enemies that are shooting at us wherever we are. So that is the way that we create multiple clones shooting at me at the same time by using three different, different lists, registering where every shoot happened and then asking the laser to do the shooting. And we could, of course, do uh, if I'm touch the uh, laser stop the game. Thank you very much. If you like the video, uh, like downstairs, subscribe to the channel and you can join us live every uh, Thursday. Bye.